a messiah because he's your like when he conquered Nebuchadnezzar II, he actually welcomed you back to Babylonia, right? Yeah. 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 So th that's the reason why a lot of uh, a, lot, a lot of your rabbinic scholars actually um, hold the opinion that it could refer to Cyrus. So it's not yeah. a it's not a definitive. I mean, um, if I, uh, I thought yeah. he was the one talking about the, the messiah, right? Yeah. So that's is is that what you believe? I mean, I mean, I haven't learned it. I, I can't I can't say for a fact. Okay. Fine. But I'm saying if it is the one talking about um, talking about the Messiah and it's referring to Cyrus, it's not referring to Cyrus because he's dead and if dead people can't be. Oh, uh, okay. So let me correct you on that. So if you look at um, uh, the scholarship, yeah. um, I know tradition suggests that Isaiah was written all by Isaiah himself, from chapters one Again, to I chapter sixty-six. Possibly, possibly. But according to biblical historians, it tends to be the case that not all of the chapters were yeah. written by Isaiah yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. So from proto-Isaiah, from chapters 1 to 39, is believed to be written by Isaiah himself. Yeah. But there's something called Deutero-Isaiah, the second Isaiah, which is written from chapters 40 to 60, 65, if I'm yeah. not mistaken, is believed to be that it was written by multiple authors. And even historians go even further, Treat or Isaiah. There's even more authorships from Isaiah. Do you know, do you know which historians? Uh, so for example... Um, Jewish ones, right? Jewish ones. You know what? I forgot. Maybe Abraham bin Ezra. I need to. I need to check. I need to check. Oh, yeah, He's yeah. one of your biggest, biggest rabbi. I could be mistaken. Ebenezer, I'll Ebenezer. check it back. Yeah. But I'm. I know pretty sure that according to biblical historians, it's uh, it, it's actually been agreed that all of these books of Isaiah is not written by a single author, right, right. by Isaiah himself. It was written multiple even, authors. Yeah. I just want to say there's even an argument as to whether the entire of the Bible was written by Moses. Exactly. Because even, exactly. even the last, the last eight, La eight the last eight. In uh, chapter right. 34, verse 10. No, sorry, verse 5 to 6, when uh, Moses died at the age of 120 yeah, yeah. years, was very moral. That's, exactly. that's the end of it. it could exactly. Have been yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So what we're saying is that if you read Isaiah 42, uh, we, I think we have a strong compelling case that this is referring to Prophet Muhammad yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, a lot of the Jewish scholars, what they say is, if you interpret on the Peshat level from Isaiah 42, 1 to 10, is referring to Cyrus. We as Muslims, I've got no problem accepting that, by the way. Yeah. I've got no problem accepting that this may refer to Cyrus. Because I think he does meet um, the criteria. But if you read from Isaiah 42, 10 to 19, it has to refer to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Because it says that he shall come from the village of Kedar. Kedar, if you read in Genesis chapter 25, verse 13. I, I will give you a problem with that. Yeah, go on, go on. In order to, in order to, to convince us, yeah. right, you also have to, convince, you have to convince us according to the rabbinical law. Okay. Right. Okay. And according to rabbinical law, like I said, there, you have to come before um, you have to come before a great a, a high court. Yeah. And the high court is of seventy-one people. Yeah. The 71, yeah, 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 yeah. And they have to say that you are you are the Messiah, well, or you could be the Messiah. If if they say you're not, mm. then you're not the Messiah. But but uh, I totally understand that you're still awaiting for the Messiah. But we're not talking about the Messiah because even within the Messiah, there's three different. Uh, oh, you're talking, sorry, sorry, you're talking about him talking as a prophet. As a prophet. Uh, sorry, my bad, my as a prophet. I apologize, I apologize. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, no problem, no yeah. problem. So what we're talking about is a, is a prophet. Is he a prophet? Yeah, is he a prophet? Yeah. Right. And so even if you look at, he shall come from the village of Kedar, and if you cross cross reference that in Genesis chapter 25 verse 13, um, uh, Kedar is one, is the second son of Ishmael. And even if you look at some rabbinical works, even the Jewish, they do you know what they call the Arabs, Kedarites. Right. Because they come from Kedar, right? I know Nebuef is Nabataeans, which is the northern uh, side of uh, Saudi. But even the Hijaz region, they call, they address the the, the Jews used to address the the um, the Hijaz region, which is where Makkah Medina is, as Kedarites. And uh, he shall rejoice in the um, uh, in the uh, in the Mount of Salah. Now, a lot of Jewish rabbis holds the opinion that Salah is just referring to a rock. And that, that is a valid interpretation. But I don't, I find it, I find it amazing that there is a mount called Salah in Medina. And we believe that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him migrated from Makkah to Medina. And, and, and there's a mountain called Mount Salah. And some of the Jews, they've been waiting around that time. That is a very good question. Yeah. Now, I, I'm not sure if, Barakallah Fiqh, that's a very important point. If you look at historically, there were a lot of Jewish tribes that actually stayed in where we, where we refer to as Medina today. At that time, it was called Yathrib. And when the Prophet, peace be upon him, migrated, it's called Al Medina. Why were there so many Jewish tribes staying in Yathrib? What's the reason? Again, you're telling me things that I've never heard before, so but, I, I, I can't answer you. But why do you think? What's the possibility? Like, why, why would the Jewish tribes, 200 years before somebody claims to be a, a final prophet, Where's, where's, Medina? Yeah. where's Medina? Medina is in, um, it's in the Hijaz region, so it's Makkah, and then 
I'm not sure how many miles what, from, from Iran, Makkah to Medina. Like kind of no, 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 no. It's, it's in Saudi, in modern day Saudi. Saudi. Yeah. So I, I find it quite amazing that how come a lot of Jewish tribes um, stayed in, uh, how long in that ago region? Was this? As in 1400 years ago. This was 200 years before the Prophet's birth. Ah, fine. fine. So like 1000 to around. Yeah, around um, uh, uh, around 500 CE. Right, right, right. Yeah. So this is uh, 400. So, so, so my question to you so is that here yeah. is a Makkah. Yeah, yeah. And thank here you. is a Medina. Yeah. So, yeah. So how far is that from Middle? 50, 50 miles. Yeah. It's where the Prophet's so mosque is. Yeah. 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 Right, so that's, ne right, okay. that's the Prophet's Mosque. We actually believe that that's where the Prophet's Mosque is, which oh, is in okay. Medina. This is where a lot of the Jewish tribes actually stayed, even right. before the Prophet's birth. My question as, as a Jew to you, like, what's the possibility? I know you may not know the answer, but why Again, do you think? I'm sorry, I can't tell you that. Okay, I don't know. now don't know. we can even look at the remains of the... the there was a battle called the Battle of Khaybar, we, uh, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, had wars with certain Jewish tribes. Not all Jewish tribes, by the way. Certain Jewish tribes that broke the, the peace treaty. We, you can even go to Medina today and you can see the remains of the Khaybar, yes, the castle of the Khaybar. And we have, the, we have recorded in the Hadith that there are Jewish rabbis that accepted Islam. Abdullah ibn Salam, Ka'ab ibn Ahbar. Why? Because they believe that he is the final prophet that matches all the description in their book, in the Torah. Right. Some of the Jews disbelieved in Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, for example, Huay ibn Akhlar. Um, he was the leader of one of the Jewish tribes. He rejected it. So. Some of the Jews accepted it, some of the Jews are not. Yeah. So what I find amazing is that why would you think some Jews accepted Prophet Muhammad Well, why would you think that some Jews accepted Christianity? No, no. No, no, no. no. I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm, just, I'm just saying an answer. I'm yeah. just saying from my point of view, I don't... Okay, I I'll address that. Here, I'll address that. Misguided. Very good, very good. I'll address that. I'll address that. So amongst early Christianity, yeah. there are two different types of groups. So you, you have the believers and you have the disbelievers. The disbelievers are the Jewish people, that they rejected Jesus the Messiah, yeah. right? Uh, however, amongst the believers, there's two further sections, the Jewish Christians and the Pauline Christians. And what's amazing is that if you read the Quran in chapter 61, verse 14, Allah says that among, like, Allah says that there are those disciples of Jesus that accepted the call of Jesus, but then Allah says after that, different sects. There were different groups among the children of Israel. One of the interpreters actually interpreted is referring to Jewish Christian sects. So even within early Christianity, you even, you even had a, a different strand. So we actually believe that James the Just, who was the half-brother of Jesus, we believe that he was the original disciple of Jesus. Because he was a Torah-observant uh, Torah Jew who accepted Jesus as a prophet, as a Messiah, not the Pauline Christian that believed that Jesus died for their sins and he came as a, as a man and he completely abolished the law, right? We Muslims don't believe in that. So when you're talking about well, I could, I could cite Jews becoming Christians, but they're following a, 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 a pagan tradition, a pagan, a pagan culture called right. Paul. Paul is the one who's saying that you no longer need to follow the law. Um, you just have to believe that Jesus died for your sins. He's the son of God. Yeah. You know, he's, he's got a divine status, right? But we don't believe the original disciples were the Jewish Christians. Yeah, and if you know the, the history of Christianity, you have the Jerusalem Council. Are you this from the Quran? No, it's from history. You can even, I mean, there's one book called uh, Jeffrey Butts, he's the author. He actually wrote about early Christians that did not believe that Jesus was crucified, that did not believe that Jesus was God, that did not believe that Jesus was Son of God. So we actually believe that they were a Jewish Christian who believed in Jesus the way how he should be believed. But unfortunately, the mainstream Christians are who they're following today, which is Paul, Pauline Christians. So we say that the original followers of Jesus, they were, they were abiding Jews. They were following the Torah. Because even you read in, in, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, Jesus said, I did not come here to abolish the law. I did not come here to abolish the prophets. You have to follow the commandments. Do you understand? Sorry, you meant yeah. this book. Yeah, Jeffrey Butts. Yeah, Jazakallah Khair. Yeah. So, so what I'm trying to say is that you can't really use that argument when it comes to that context. Because there are Jewish Christians that actually be, believe Jesus as the Messiah and they were still observing the Torah. Yeah, if your criteria is like... Prophet should be Jewish. So if you don't believe Prophet Muhammad was um, Jewish, um, yeah. but Isa al Islam, he was Jewish. Yeah. So my question is why the Jewish people rejected it? What was the main reason? Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Um, well, there's a. Oh, there's a because he was fulfilling all first the criteria. Off, first off, first off he, he, was, he was an illegitimate child. 
We, okay. That's, that's what we believe. I'll yeah. adjust that. I'll yeah. adjust that. Because um, they, they claim that he was the son of son of God, and we we didn't believe that. We okay. we just claimed that he was the son of an illegitimate child. I know. And then, I know. Um, then uh, and what's it called? Well, he, yeah, so the main reason is that he just went about claiming... Most I've read um, um, there's a rabbi that speaks about it quite quite heavily. Victor Miller. I would I would recommend you. Which one? Rabbi Victor Miller. He had oh, no, a, I haven't heard him. He had a book called S- Sing You Righteous. Yeah. Okay. In there, in there he addresses um, he addresses atheism and Christianity with regards to Jesus. Okay. It's okay. it's a very good book. I'll look into that. So I'll he um it. so in it he says um that, that the main people that that Jesus went to was was the was the was the, was the lower ones the the ones that w- weren't as clever as the rest of the ones. Yeah, as okay. in the Jews. Yeah. So then he um, so then they were they were they were more severe. They didn't they simply didn't know it. So okay. They, okay. They were less knowledgeable. So they so he was it was much easier to convince them. Mm. And um, so yeah, so he managed to convince them, and that's how um, and the rest of the Jews genuinely just didn't take a notice of the guy that much. He, he just went about, and he um, he was causing a bunch of problems, trying to cause a revolt at one point even because he was. He was around during the time of the temple, and, and yeah, 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 and and that was when the Romans had control over us, and he was actually trying to. Cause well, not around his time because it happened in 70 CE, and by that time Jesus yeah. disappeared in the scene. So no, that's uh, when the, that's uh, when the temple was destroyed. But I'm saying when when was it destroyed? Around 70 CE. But Jesus wasn't around that time. No, so I'm saying earlier when, when Jesus yeah. was around. Okay. Around that time, Romans did have con- had control over us. So you believe that he did some like he did that he, insurrection? No, he, yeah, no, he, he, he yeah, challenged he tried, the, the Jewish authority, uh, the tried, Roman authority. He tried to, he tried to, to start a revolt against, against okay. the Romans. Okay, I, I want to address so, your point. So we, yeah. we just yeah. took him and handed him over to I want to address your point. So f- first of all, you mentioned that you believe that Jesus was an illegitimate child. And of course, that like, we completely reject that. We believe in the in the miraculous birth of Jesus, that he was born from uh, Mary, Maryam, who was a miraculous birth. But I, I, I think if you were to talk to a Christian, I think they can't refute you. Because knowing the New Testament does, does it, seem to be the case to refute the Jews regarding his, his miraculous birth, right? But I want to ask you this question. In the Talmud, I know, I know, you, I know you're referring back to the Talmud. Why, didn't, why is there no recording in the Torah of Mary getting stoned? If she was really guilty of adultery oh, and falling... Ki- yeah, in no, the in the Talmud. In the Talmud. In the Talmud. Yeah, why is there no record that Mary was stoned to death or... No idea. Why do you think? I don't know. But Jesus is mentioned. No, no, no. I know about Jesus, yeah. but I'm talking about his mother. That's what yeah. you are accusing. He's Why a child. Because we don't, we don't mention every single person that got stoned. But do you not think that someone who claims to be the false messiah, do you not think you would highlight that? Well, we highlight him. But why not his mother? There must be a reason why. That's a very good question. That's, that's and that's why the Quran rabbi. gives you the that's answer. A, that's a question for the rabbi, not for me. But we Muslims, we can give you the solution. Yeah, man. Go on. Because the narrative is not found in the New Testament. It's in the Quran. Right. That we believe that Jesus spoke from the cradle as a baby nice. Mary um, it's, it's in Sultan Maryam by the way in chapter Mary chapter 19 that uh, Mary came with her son Jesus and um, she came in front of the Jewish authorities and the Jewish authorities they you know ex- exactly like you know we know that you we know that your mother and father are chaste what are you doing here in other words they're accusing you of adultery yeah. and then the baby Jesus spoke he said Abdullah he said he, Jesus said as a baby I'm the slave of Allah that indeed he made me a prophet he gave me a book and he made me a prophet and he made me blessed wherever I be and I established the salat and I established zakat the, the, the alms giving the charity and um, um, that's it, Baraka. And he made me, ble- uh, and he made me dutiful to my mother, and not made me arrogant or blessing. Shakia, yeah. So this this narrative of the Quran actually vindicates. It actually removes the allegation of his mother, and you'll not find this in the New Testament. And he defended. And that's the reason why you'll not find in the Talmud any record that Mary was stoned, because it's a false story. If you, if you say so, I mean, I, I, I don't know. If, I like to think that if someone... We Muslims can actually defend Jesus better than the Christians. Yeah, Christians in, cannot defend yeah, Jesus. It's not in the New Testament, not in Torah, anyway. It's in the exactly. I think, I think the way I could answer to you is, I, I'm, again, I could be wrong in saying this, I, I probably, but I think at the time when Jesus was born, we didn't, we didn't have, we weren't allowed... Um, one second, let me just, sorry, let me just go ahead, go ahead. 
No, no, no. No, 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 no that's yeah. the only that's the only reason why it's not recorded. You may accuse you may accuse her son, illegitimate child, but what about the mother? No. Well, why no recording of the mother being stoned to death? Nothing. Because she was I, innocent. I it's not really a thing to say that oh why wasn't she recorded? Because it's not But you recorded Jesus, we, but you didn't record nothing about Mary. I find that I very strange. I didn't, I've not I've not learned the exact piece where he's, he is recorded. I've been told this, yeah? That he's, he's recorded to what, what... It's only said to him, I, I believe it's only said what happens to him in the, in the next life. So I don't think they even mentioned the fact that he's a illegitimate child. Now, what I know in the Talmud, it says that, Audhu Billah, we don't believe in this, yeah? That you believe that Jesus, uh, sorry, uh, Mary slept, Audhu Billah, I just have to say yeah. this, that Mary slept yeah, yeah. with a Roman soldier yeah, yeah. and she conceived, right? Yeah, this is yeah, correct. Yeah, right. Yeah. My question to you is, that shows that she's guilty. Yeah. You're making you're making a claim that she's guilty of adultery, yeah. fornication. Yeah, yeah. What I find strange yeah. is that why is there no punishment about Mary in Again, the Talmud? Fair question. Fair so according to the law, if someone uh, that's I why I the Quran, that's because why the Quran, that's just why the Quran. Have a question doesn't mean it's not there's not an answer. But that's right? why there's a solution because right. I find it quite strange that how come the how come the Talmud, how come the Jewish authorities did not record? There are plenty of yeah. there are plenty of things that you can that you can question about the Talmud, but all of it has answers. But why why wouldn't you highlight the crime of Mary? Why yeah. only the crime of her ask, son? Have you asked the rabbi about this? I'm sure he, I'm sure there's a rabbi out there. That can you can ask any rabbi. I, I I don't think any rabbi can give me a good, good answer to be honest. I, I, it doesn't make sense. You're highlighting Jesus as illegitimate child, but no punishment was you, given to you, Mary. Have you, have you learned the Talmud on this? I learned some bits of it. I actually wrote. I actually. Um, I only read the introduction by Norman Solomon, right. uh, the Talmud, Norman Solomon. Right, right. Uh, it's published by Penguin, so I'm, 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 I'm reading that at the moment. I'm not expert, by the way. Right. I can make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. But for me, as a logical and reasonable individual, I just find it strange that in your Talmud, you speak quite, quite vigorously about Jesus as an illegitimate child, but the mother is not in the so, equation. I, so I the thing about strange. the Talmud is the Talmud, a lot of it is ambiguous. A lot of it is ambiguous. And it, that's why there, there's lots of, uh, like you said, there's, there's Kirish and there's Medrash, right? Okay. There's, um, so, so there's lots of explanations in between. Some, for example, Rashi, like you said, he, um, he what's called, he's a, he's a, he's a Rashi, yeah? He's Rashi, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's a, he, he has a whole thing on the on the Talmud, on, on all of the Talmud. Okay. He, 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 he gives explanations to it. A lot of the Talmud, if you, uh, the Talmud... If you, can, if you can find me an explanation why yeah, why Mary was not stoned or why there's no I'll, I'll, recording okay, about I'll Mary. It's, it's a good yeah, you could do that. But what's yeah. cool, a lot of the Talmud, is, uh, the Talmud is a lot like the Bible for us. But if, if you look at it at face value, you're going to come out with a completely wrong idea. No problem. But what we say is that, look, if you yeah. read the Quran, yeah, yeah, uh, okay. if you read the Quran, the portrayal of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, doesn't actually contradict what you actually believe. He actually came with the same message. He said, there's wor worship one God alone. Do not ascribe partners with him. You know, and he, even there's some remnants, even in the Gospel of Mark, that Jesus is echoing exactly the same statement as um, Moses, the, the Shema. Which you wake up every day to yeah. declare your faith, right? Shema is you know, Adonai Elohim, Adonai Echad, which is equivalent to Shahada. Yeah, yeah the, 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 their yeah. Shahada is here in Israel, the Lord their God, the Lord is one. And even, even if you read in Mark's Gospel, which, which biblical scholars believe is to be the, the most historical, the least historical is John's Gospel, which a lot of Christians um, use as that because, it, because it, it comes across Jesus' divine figure. But if you look at Mark as the earliest historical Gospel, he, he's a good Jew. He's yeah. telling you to be a good Jew. Yeah. Follow the Torah. Yeah. All he's telling is that you Jewish authority Pharisees, you're, you're twisting and you're doing all this. Just follow the teachings of Moses. And I don't think any Jew would have any issue with that. I, we Muslims also reject the Christian version of Jesus, by the way. Yeah. So you, if you're yeah. rejecting that, we also reject. Yeah. What we're asking you is that Jesus actually came the same message with Moses. Never claimed to be God. Never claimed to be the Son of God. He's a prophet of God. Messiah. So how about the miracle? Jesus performed during that time. Uh, say again? The miracle. Ah, the miracle. Yeah. So I've, so I've, I've not uh, read it myself. But I've read the, again the rabbi that we're talking about with the big minute. He talks about this and he no quotes problem. he quotes the, the the what's called the Bible and it says that 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 Jesus that um that the rabbi is the one the one to the one like I said the one when you, the seventy people they had to come before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah. did come before them and they said that you're not the you're not the, the guy. Yeah, you're not the Messiah. So what are so, the so, reasons? So so so. So they so he said to him, I am. I've done I've done plenty of miracles. So they said to him, Do miracles for? Us. And he said, No. I said, why should I do Why should I do miracles for you? You guys you guys are non-believers. Yeah. So then they go away, and then then he's with the the people. Like like I said, the the people who, are, who don't know as much. 
So he does miracles for them. Yeah? Then the rabbis come back and he stops doing miracles. So it, from the from the, this is in the in the in the Bible itself, in the, the New Testament, yeah, where 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 Jesus does miracles for, for the lesser people, but not but not for the rabbis himself. Do you understand? Oh okay, I see where you're coming from. I, I I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from, but, but if you're taking the narrative from the New Testament, uh, no, I, didn't, I, I, I don't I, use I don't use ah, the New right, Testament. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot. Yeah, that's the sorry. thing. We would I, I, we would I, I only use the New sorry. Testament as a supporting forgot. evidence, not that sorry. it's the evidence itself. Sorry, sorry. So if you like, here's the here's the problem. Yeah. If you read the Quran, I'm pretty sure as a Jew you would know you would have no problem. You have no hesitation to accept Jesus the Messiah in the true version, the true version of Jesus Christ. You will find it. In the, well, he's a prophet. He's a prophet. If he's the Messiah, then yeah. look around today. There's lots of pain and suffering. I don't understand how there could be pain and suffering if the Messiah is about. So are, are you talking about the problem of evil in philosophy? Is, is that your point? Like it, the Messiah, is, so, but he, we believe in his second coming. Ah, right, right, right. We believe in his second coming. He will restore, he will, he will defeat the Antichrist, and he will establish uh, justice. And he will establish the Sharia of Muhammad So right, yeah. So you, you believe that he's come before, but he's going to come again? He's going to come again, yes. Ah, fine, fine. Yes. Fine. So if, if, you, if, you look at the, if you look at Jesus, um, Jesus in Islam, I don't think as a Jew you would have any issue accepting Isa, Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus son of Mary. If you reject the Christian understanding of Jesus, of course, then we reject that as well. Okay, so now... I've not, not looked at the Muslim, but I'll be honest. I've not, I've not, I've not looked at the Have you read the Quran? I've not read the Quran. Read the Quran. Uh, when not, you to... My father told me I'm not allowed. Uh, Why not? Father. Why not? Because, well, well, okay, so this is the, the example I've thought of. If, if you were, so if you are... If your son went to a school, if, if he had a son, right, and he went and he went to school, and they taught him that that the world that there's there's aliens that come to Earth every day and they and they um they they fly around in spaceships and you can see them, then you forget them the next day. Would, and he comes and this guy comes up with a whole scenario. Yeah, would you would you let, let him keep going to that school where they come up with wacky things and they teach your son? So what wacky things did the Quran? No, come uh, with? Just, no, but that's why you're no, accusing. No, just, well, if I go for the sake of argument, yeah. uh, no, I wouldn't. No, no, I wouldn't. For the sake for, of argument. For us, it's the same thing. Okay. We, my father doesn't want me to read it because he doesn't want to. For now, I'm, I'm a child still. I'm not. I'm not reached, I'm not married yet. I'm not. I'm not very old. I'm only 17. So I'm oh, still. Oh, okay. I'm okay. still. I'm still in college. You're right? very smart as a 17 year old. Yeah, I'm not, I'm really. You are. You are. You're I quite matured. Go on, go on. But um, what is it called? I'm still young, and he doesn't doesn't okay. want to. I don't mean to use a bad language here, but go ahead. In fact, with my head with the command. Sorry. I'm sorry for having to say that. No, 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 you're being sorry. honest. You're being honest sorry, and transparent. Doesn't wanna, I appreciate wanna, that. Doesn't want to ruin my head with the, with the Quran and, and change it from the, from the What's toilet. the reason? What's the reason? Yeah. Because I don't believe in the Quran. I think it's more than that. I don't think so. I think it's as simple as that. As simple as we just don't, don't believe in you. But do you believe in the theology that the Muslims come with? Tawheed, the, the message of Tawheed, the oneness of God, the that's, worship that's God a, alone, a, a the God of Abraham, the God of that's Moses. That's the but I'm trying to say you can, yeah, we can come to common yeah. agreement. Yeah. yeah. Then there are things okay. that, 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 a lot of things that, that Jews have been Okay. My, my, my question to you is this: that look, I totally you understand you're brought up in a, in a Jewish um, yeah. family, and your father has said to you about the Quran. No problem. Yeah. No problem with that. I'm not going to impose you to read the Quran, not at all. But what I do encourage you to do is that look, Muslims Muslims represent 25% of the world population, and I think it's very important that you understand the beliefs of 25% of the world's population. Yeah. And it's very important. You sh that's the reason I'm studying the Torah. I'm studying, yeah. I'm studying Judaism. I'm studying Christianity. Yeah, we're, only, we're not even 1%. We know, exactly. So imagine, look, if me as a Muslim, if I'm willing to study your scripture, mm. I hear, I hear. why wouldn't you study I, the scripture I, that's represented by 25% of the world's population? Know, for now, my father's told me... Father told me that no that problem. I have a think about it. I, I, about I, I it. definitely can't do it for now until I get permission from my father. You know, do you believe as, in the afterlife? As, of course, brother. You believe in the afterlife? Excuse do you, me, brother. Do sure. you believe Muslim going to paradise? Do I? Well, okay. So now again, you're you're getting into subjects which I've not learned on. But as far as I know, not non-Jews are righteous. They, they yeah, if they follow the no high laws, yeah, yeah the, I'm aware yeah, of the that. Yeah, the seven no uh, I'm aware of that. So I'm saying we know as far as, he's, he's as God's the, past, he's there's, the there's over 189,000 different beliefs in this world. Yep. God couldn't put us here and say you have to study each one of them because if you do each one of them for let's say a month. That's it, you're dead. I'm saying, like, before you hit, let's say, you die when you're 80, you can't do your trump for a month. There's 189,000 different beliefs, okay? Over, over 189,000 different beliefs, okay? So you can't spend a month on each different religion. You're saying Muslim, next step behind me, you'll say his, his religion, his belief, and, and there's 189,000 of them, okay? So 
so don't have time. So for me, why would God put me on, on this world yeah. to, to study Islam? So there happens to be quite a few Islams. You say that yeah, what percent of the, of the world um, population is, but God doesn't expect me to go through 800, 189,000 different beliefs. So, so, so I'll, 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 do you believe yeah. in ultimate truth? Yeah. So I, no, so I believe that the one that I was put in, obviously yeah. God put me there for a reason, okay? Of course. He might, he might not have enlightened you, I don't know I don't know what to say to you, but, but for me, no, I'm saying uh, full respect. But for myself, you obviously put me into this religion, the one I'm in, okay. because you wanted me to stick to that, okay? And he's given me all the proofs from there. You can't go around trying every single different religion because you're Okay, I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand. Okay. All right, so... so, that's, so why, that's why we're not sure. going to agree to So let, let me respond to you. Look, there's something called filtering. Very easy to filter. Look, you have a set of criteria in set, right? If a religion tells us there's more than one God, I'm going to discard that. Not, not even, I don't even need to investigate. Yeah, yeah. Secondly, is this message, is it meant for me? Or is it only meant for a particular tribe or a particular ethnicity? If that's the case, it doesn't apply to me. Yeah. Now, if you sift it through, you know the only religion that claims to be a message for you? Islam. Because the Prophet Muhammad was sent for everyone, for all times and places, up until the Day of Judgment. Yeah, we, don't, we don't believe that. We don't know. That's not the point. I'm not talking about belief. I'm talking about what we Muslims believe. Oh. We Muslims believe that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not only sent to the Arabs. He was even sent to the Jews. He was sent for the whole of humanity. Because the Quran says in chapter 21 verse 107, Wa ma that we have sent you not on Muhammad except as a mercy to all the ones. I can, many, I can give you many references in the Quran. He did in come well after the, Jew, the Jewish religion started. He came, he came years after, after the Jewish religion started. Okay, the, what, the Jewish religion? Yeah. My, point is, that, my point is that, was there a religion called Judaism? It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. So what, what religion did, what, what way of life did, did Abraham follow? Abraham, well, he had two sons. He had Ishmael and he had Isaac. Okay. So what's his religion? What's his way of life? So where does, where does Islam come from? Okay, so, so very good. Exist, how, how can Islam very, very good question. So you believe that you came from Ishmael, right? Is that, am I correct in saying that? No, not in terms of, by faith, I'm, I, I, by faith I follow the religion of Muhammad yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. not an Ishmaelite by blood. Because I believe Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sent for everyone, not just for the were Arabs, you, not, for, you, not just for the Jews. Hmm? Were you born as a Muslim? Yeah, I was born as a Muslim. Yeah, I come from a subcontinent uh, Bangladeshi background, yeah. but I'm a Muslim. But I believe that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the message, he, he, was not, he didn't say, I was only sent to the Arabs, I was only sent to the Jews. No, he was sent for all nations, all times and places of, up until Judgment Day. Yeah? Whereas if you look at the previous prophets like Moses and Abraham and, and Jesus, they were only sent for their people only, for their nation. Yeah? So, so, first of all, you know, you mentioned there's 189,000 different beliefs. I'm making your research easy for you. So first of all, you know from your natural inclination, there must be one God. One God alone is non anthropomorphic, he's one and only, you know, he doesn't have a father, children. That's Done. You believe. you believe that Muhammad came for us. I don't believe Muhammad came for us. No, no, no. No, him. why don't you test the claim? Because my point is, my point is this. I've already done the job for you. I've already sifted all of these 189,000 beliefs, and the only religion that comes to you. Because look, look, I study a lot of compared religion. I, I study. Judaism. Yeah. I can, I can literally break it down to you. Yeah. It takes five minutes. Okay. Is Judaism for everyone? Yeah. Yes. Anyone yeah. coming? Judaism. Anyone coming? But you can't. Oh, you can't, uh, you can't uh, almost anyone. It's, it's almost a race, but you can, you can join it. But you can't leave it. When you're Jewish, that's it. I'm not. There's no way to convert to. But yeah. is, is Judaism a religion that Moses preached? What was his religion? Yes. He, he, he was the one who. No, he came from uh, uh, Judah. No, yeah, no, but, no, no, that's the name, that's the name. but that's what I'm saying. That, that's, no, that, that's in the name, but yeah. it wasn't called Judaism back then. But it was, we, yeah. it's what the name is. Okay, the very good point. The Quran mentions. The, the Quran mentions in chapter three, verse sixty-seven. Allah says Abraham was not was neither a Jew nor was he Christian, but he was a Muslim Hanifa. He was a Muslim strict monotheism. Now, I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you. Okay. He was nothing because at the time until the Torah came along, no one you couldn't be a religion. You could, he was maybe known as there was the population called the Hebrews, but there was no Jewish people at the time. So, uh, so what was his religion then? But he, he couldn't have been a Muslim because he wasn't his really kids. Why, why would his kids? Do you, know what, do you know what Muslim means? Do you know what Islam means? Islam is is, uh, is something salam. It's like two different words. It's like no. combined. So, so that's why Islam Islam, Islam comes from the comes from the Arabic word Islam, which means submission. You sub, submission to the state of submission to one God alone, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So anyone who submits to the will of Allah is doing al Islam, which is called a Muslim. That's the reason why all the prophets and messengers they came with one message worship Allah alone, the God of Abraham, the God of Moses, the God of Jesus, and submit to Him alone. In Arabic, that's a Muslim. That's Islam. There's no, there's no real. So uh, here's the problem many people have misconception 
that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is the founder of Islam and he came with a new religion called Islam yeah. Putin and that's going, no, 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 no. Mohammedism, like but it's not. Islam was there since time immemorial. Islam was there since the time of Adam, peace be upon him. Because that's what Islam is, submission to the will of Allah. And anyone, anyone who submits to the will of Allah is called a Muslim. So we believe that Adam was a Muslim. We believe that Noah was a Muslim. We believe that Abraham was a Muslim. Well, we believe not, Jesus was a Muslim. Because, because at the same time, the whole universe comes from Adam. Adam was the first human created. Yeah. So surely you can't have everyone being a Muslim because we believe that Islam is only 1,400 years old. But, but my point is, no, no, no. See, you misunderstood the point. Islam is not named. Islam, Islam is not so named. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me explain. Islam is not named after a personality figure. It's not named after Muhammad. It's not named How after. Could he have been a Muslim? How could because he I've already explained to you, Islam comes from the root word is Islam, which means submission. So Islam means submission to the will of Allah. Anyone who submits uh, is called a Muslim. Am I, am I a Muslim. If you accept Prophet Muhammad says the last and final message, that's submission. Because we believe did Adam did Adam accept upon him? Adam, Adam, peace be upon him, is a Muslim. He submitted to the will of Allah. Noah was a Muslim as well. Moses was a Muslim as well. Abraham was a Muslim as well. That's why I asked you what was the religion of Abraham? What was his way of life? So it's all about choice. I mean, it's nothing to do with birth, anything to do with uh, spiritual language, just whether you it means, it, it means if you lived at the time of Moses, peace be upon him, you accepted him to be the messenger of God and you followed the Torah, at that time you're a Muslim. That's right. Yes, sir. If you lived at the time of Abraham and you accepted to be prophet of God, you're a Muslim. That's right. But now we say Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu since he's the last and final prophet, no prophet shall come after him. So now, if you want to become Muslim, you also have to accept Prophet Muhammad as the final prophet. If you have a son right now, anyway, so he's, he's two days old, he hasn't accepted it upon him. So is he a Muslim? Is he, if, you're, if, you, if your son, let's say, is two days old, yeah? is he a Muslim? That's a very good question. So, a Muslim means someone who submits to the will of Allah. We believe that every child is born as a Muslim. Every child is born upon the natural inclination to submit to the Creator. However, their parents make them a Jew or a Christian or fire worshipper. So we believe by default, everyone has this natural disposition to submit to the Creator, which we call as a Muslim. But because children grow up and they've been influenced by their family or their parents or the society, they start worshipping other gods as they, become, they start becoming atheists. So that's the reason why when a person becomes a Muslim, when they accept Islam, we don't call them a convert. We call them revert. You're coming back to your original okay, state. Your son. Okay, so yeah. going back, your, so and your, if, your, if my your son, son yeah. yeah, if he's not at the age of accountability, if he, if Allah took his soul away before his age of accountability, then he's not accountable. Allah will give him a different test how, how old is in the hereafter. Well, let's Sorry. say before the age of accountability, before he recognizes what's right and wrong. Okay, so you're, you're saying that your your, your baby who's is uh, five years old, he can't yeah. hear, he can't, he can't, he can't yeah. speak. Yeah. That's yeah. the shock, like, yeah. God forbid, yeah? Yeah. Like, I know. He, I know. he can't, he can't. Whatever. There is a child who can't yeah. speak, he can't reason, hear, he can't, he can't, he can't, he can't reason, he can't reason, yeah, nothing, yes. he can't reason. Is he a Muslim, this child? So he, he's born to yeah. a Muslim he father, is. Every, Muslim every child is born is innocent, we believe in that. Okay, so then is a Christian uh, boy who's, who's, who's born in exactly the same conditions, no, we believe touch, every no, child. no blind thing, is he a Muslim, even though yeah. his parents are Christian? Yeah, but until, until he's 50. Yeah, 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 no, that's a good he's point. he's 50 years old, is he a Muslim? Yeah, no, that's a good point. If he, if Allah has took the child before the age of understanding what's right and wrong. If, took him, if he's just blind or he's dead. If he's indoctrinated, that's not his fault. Because he, is he a Muslim? Huh? Is he a Muslim? Well, he's no longer a Muslim anymore because obviously he professed in Jesus Christ, he no, died no, for his no, sins, no, etc. What I'm saying is that... He was born to Muslim parents. Yeah. He's 50 years old. He's never heard anything in his life. He's never seen anything in his life. He's never spoken in his life. Yeah. He can't understand anything. Yeah. Then he's not accountable. Then he's not accountable. But he's a Muslim? Yeah, he's still a Muslim. Yes. So once you're being given yes. the decision to that's decide... It. Whether you're Muslim yeah. or not, that's when you're accountable. We believe God is justice. The God is just. Yes. Yeah. Put you in a hellfire yeah. without knowing what's right. Exactly. Then going back, then a Christian child. He, he's also never had. He's, he's never had the ability to make a decision. Yeah. But that's it. He's born a Muslim because, yeah. like everyone, every child. But now he's getting I'm tested because Jewish, we believe. Yeah. Christian. Very good. Think Very good. As soon as they're born, until they're accountable, they're all born Muslim. Yes. Yes. But until now, until he's 50 years old. Exactly. Yeah, he's, he's doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a sense of uh, smell, touch, mm, taste, mm. nothing. Like, if the messenger, yeah, yeah. Blind, death, this yeah. Christian child, he can't make the decision to. Yeah. to is it's he still question. a Muslim? It's a good question. It's a very good question. Oh, yeah. Let's see no, someone, no, no, no. It's a good question. No, no. This is where justice comes in. No, 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 no. You have to, you have yeah, to yeah, let sure. me respond. This is where justice comes in because Allah says in the Quran, we do not punish the nation until we send a messenger. Meaning, if this Christian never heard about Islam and he died, then he's not accountable. He never heard about Islam. So Allah will give him a different test in the hereafter. But once you heard the message of Islam and you reject Islam knowing it's true, then you'll be accountable.
That's the justice yeah. of Allah. The same applies if you're born in the time of Musa, right? Yeah. And you are seven or eight year old and you died without knowing right and wrong things, without accepting Musa as a prophet. If yeah. you died, you will be have a different prophet. You will not be accountable for that. Exactly. There's the so many people in the Amazon jungle, they never heard about Islam. So if they die, they're not they're not responsible. Allah will give them different tests. We can't decide if they're going to go to hell or paradise. Do you believe at least on this world that, that the, you, again, you haven't, you haven't reflect whether Allah is going to give them something. Do you define a Christian child? That, that was the initial question. You said, I know that you say that officially there's nothing you can do there because he's not, he's not held accountable. But is he a Muslim? This 50 year old guy, yes or no? Is he, is he a Muslim? This 50 year old Christian born guy who, yeah. doesn't, who doesn't have. So he can be a Christian. You can call him. You can call him. You can call him a Christian, but I cannot call him a kafir. I can't call him a disbeliever because he never heard about Islam. He just got indoctrinated by his parents. So I don't know. I leave it to Allah. He's born a Muslim, and nothing else. Not originally, but he's been indoctrinated by his Christian parents. No, 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 no. You misunderstood. I'm saying. I'm saying. A non-Muslim when they start believing in everything. No, 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 no. No, Muslims. No, no. You misunderstood the point. Islam is. Yeah. You, 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 no, no, you misunderstood the point once again. We believe that every child is born upon the natural inclination to submit to the Creator. So they're Muslim in that sense. However, because they've been indoctrinated by parents to believe in another religion, that's why they are no longer perfect. They, they no longer believe in one God alone. They worship other gods. Now, if he never heard about Islam before, right? Then it's not justice upon Allah to punish him, because if he never, if he never heard about Islam. You, you can't punish someone if, if you never receive the message. So in this situation, we just leave it to Allah. But if somebody knows about Islam now, and he chooses to say, nah, I'm born as a Christian family, you know, I believe Jesus died for my sins, yeah. no excuse, I don't want to, I don't want to. It's all about the belief. Then now it's your account Without any biological yeah. things Christian as well, there's also some faults in it, because yeah. this is based on what you think. So what happens if I, I don't tell you? So really, I, I let's say, for argument's sake, I, I accept uh, Islam in my life, yeah? But I don't tell you about it. Am I... Yeah. So, so it's so between, you and, but, it's yeah. between you, you and Allah. Us, you don't even need to tell us. It's yeah. between you and Allah. Yeah. So, so officially, I'm a Muslim, but, but as in, you consider me a Muslim, but no, 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 you no, know about no, 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 no. So, sometimes people's lives can be in danger, right? Because once a person becomes a Muslim, maybe their family may uh, exile them, may t kick them out of the house. So between you and Allah, you can you can take your you can take your shahada. You can declare your faith. Yeah. Right, but nothing. The fact that it doesn't work. Do you not think that it's, it it's works a bit in the air? Because no, because if we believe not, that life is no precious. biology involved, then everything can just happen by decisions, basically. Jewish, you know, you're Jewish. If your mum's Jewish and if our mum's Jewish, then you're Jewish. Yeah. If you're. But are you an Israelite? No, Israelite is, is, is what the olden time was. But like, wasn't wasn't Moses only sent to the Israelites? So are you are you a Israelite, Israelite by blood? Jews is afterwards. What, what's Israel? I, I don't think Moses ever heard of a, 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 a ethnicity called Jews. Yeah. Who is he? That's the that's the that's the reason that's the reason why I asked you that. Look, I'm making it I'm making it easy for you. Look, I'm, I'm making your search easy for you. Filter it out. You you got two criteria. Number one, if there's a religion that comes across that says there's more than one God, idol worship, etc., I'm going to discard it. It can't be true. Number two, is this religion, is it claiming that this message is for me or is it only for a particular nation or a particular tribe? If that is the case, it's not relevant to me. And when you sift through, the only religion that claims that there's only one God that deserves to be worshipped, he's not a man, he's not a statue, that he alone is all powerful, all knowledgeable, and that there's a prophet who's sent to me who claims that he's a messenger to me, then you have to test his claim. I'm making it easy for you. That's the reason why I invite you to read the Quran. Because so he, he's the only prophet. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He never yes. said you have to believe on me. Yes. Don't That's it. distinguish between any prophet. That's it. We believe in all prophets. Moses, Abraham, Noah, David, Muhammad. We believe in all. But Christians, they become disbelievers because they don't believe in Prophet Muhammad. And Jewish people, yeah. Yahudi, they don't believe. Even they, they, they rejected two prophets, Isa and Prophet Muhammad. That's the main argument we present. That's it. So I made your search easy for you. Because the only religion, the only the only prophet who could. Yeah. Because at the same time, you can also you can leave Islam as well as you can join it. Well, test the claim. 
I'm, I'm, I'm actually inviting you to test the claim, scrutinize. That's what the Quran keeps telling you. Well, you don't believe this is from Allah? Yeah. Before, 189, but I've already made the search easy for you. I've already mentioned no, no that, religion. But, 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 I, but I challenge you. All right, you, 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 you do a challenge for you. Challenge, I challenge you to find me one single religion apart from Islam that says this religion is for all times and all places. You will not find one. So who says that that's the correct one? Islam, Prophet places, Muhammad says He's the only man, the only man in figure in history that claims that he's a prophet sent for all times and places up until their judgment. Not that he was only sent to the Jews or to Arab um, or to pagans wanna, for every time, all the times and places. For a second, that it's not that Moses, Moses was only sent for the Jews, but it's not that no one else can become a Jew. It's not that, one, that it's Jews at that time and no one else. Anyone can become a Jew. Where do you get this from? From the Torah. You can become a gay. You can convert to being a Jew. Yeah, I can convert to become yeah. a Jew. So why do you have an issue becoming Muslim then? Because, because I, 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 I find that strange. Like I find that strange. If, 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 you, if you entertain the Goyim, a non-Jew, to convert to Judaism, right. why can't you do the other way around? Well, it's, not, it's not so much based on, on freedom. So what you well, can do is... Well, 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 so are say? you... So you're, so, wait, can you just... I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, saying that... How come you can become... How come, how come uh, a Muslim can become a Jew, but a Jew can't become Yeah, a exactly. Muslim. Why? So, what you're saying? Why? Why don't I entertain the chance of becoming a Muslim? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, because I believe that I believe that the Torah is true. And the, that the so is. I believe because the Torah is only. On, it's based on yeah. biology. But so I believe the Torah to, was only for the Israelites. No, so it's if not for me. To, if you're not, not a Muslim, you'd have to. You'd have to, you'd have to I'd have to marry a Muslim become, woman. Uh, uh, no, no. I think. No, no, no. I would always be Jewish. I would always. For me, right now, I can never stop being Jewish because my mum's Jewish. And and you know what? No change. You know what I'm telling you. You can carry on being a Jew. Ethnicity wise, but you can still be Muslim. It's not about ethnicity. It's okay, what religion, religion okay, like what religion did Moses preach? Judaism. Where? It's not called, it wasn't not called, called Judaism. What it was it called? Judaism. I don't know. What was it, what it's was just it ethnicity. Called? Like, like if I look, for example, I'm Bangladeshi, like I'm Bengali, I'm brought up here, born and bred. I'm Bengali, I'm Bengali ethnicity wise. Wait, wait, listen, listen. I'm, look, look, I'm Bengali. Wait, 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 wait one second. One second. Yeah. No, 